Welcome to the TechBits YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be exploring and piecing together Postgres data types. Postgres data types allow you to define the nature of the data you store in your database columns. By doing this, we are ensuring data integrity and optimizing storage and retrieval. Utilizing data types in Postgres is essential for accurately representing and manipulating different types of data within the database. For instance, we already mentioned that it helps us to accurately represent data and manipulate data here. As you can see, we see a variety of these, serial, varchar, and, and the list continues. So here are a few reasons to utilize data types. First, data integrity. Data types enforce constraints and ensure the integrity of stored data. They define the allowable range of values, format, and behavior for each data element. Data validation. Data types provide built-in validation mechanisms. They allow you to enforce constraints on the format, length, and range of acceptable values for specific data elements. Storage efficiency. Data types optimize storage efficiency by allocating the appropriate amount of space for each data element. They minimize storage requirements by using only the necessary storage size for each data type. Query optimization. Data types enable efficient query execution by providing the query optimizer with information about the nature of the data. The optimizer can leverage data type information to choose appropriate query execution plans, index usage, and joint strategies. Data transformation. Data types facilitate data transformation and manipulation operations. They provide built-in functions and operators that allow you to perform calculations, comparisons, and conversions on data elements. The next set is compatibility and interoperability. Utilizing standard data types ensures compatibility and interoperability with other systems and applications. Postgres supports a wide variety range of standard data types that are commonly used across different database systems. Documentation and communication. Data types serve as a means of communication and documentation. They convey the nature and purpose of data elements within the database schema. Utilizing well-defined and descriptive data types enhances understanding, promotes effective communication among developers and administrators, and facilitates future maintenance of the database. Last but not least is the data consistency and analysis. Utilizing appropriate data types ensures consistency in data representation and analysis. Consistent data types allow for accurate and meaningful data analysis, reporting, and visualization. By uh, utilizing appropriate data types, you ensure data integrity, improve query performance, enable accurate data manipulation, and enhance the overall quality and reliability of your Postgres database. Proper selection and usage of your data types are essential for building robust and efficient data systems. Let's go ahead and take an example. We're going to list our databases. And we do not have our database created yet. So I'm going to copy to create the database. I'm going to connect to the database. Now that we're connected, I'm going to create a table. Notice that this table contains multiple data types. Primary key, it's a serial, but it's also a primary key. The var char, int, boolean, decimals, date, types, timestamps, JSON, and integer. JSON can take JSON values, and integer is going to be an array versus just int. Let's take a look at in greater detail to that. Oh, it didn't copy correctly, so I'm going to copy it. And it's going to create the table. The table was created. Let's describe the table to see if the columns were created correctly. And we do see that there's the ID is an integer, sequential. Then we have the column, K, 
character, the integer, the boolean, a numeric date as we all specified. The next step is to insert data. Notice how the format that we're going to utilize for each kind of data type. This one in particular is interesting, the JSON and the array of integers. Let's go ahead and paste, which again, I did not do correctly. I'm pasting it back in here. And it was a success as we can see here. Well, last but not least, let's analyze and see what the data contained in our table is. And there it is. Notice each one matches with the data itself. That concludes our video. Stay tuned. We have many others coming and looking forward to seeing the next ones. Thank you.